Are you thinking about constructing a hay barn? If so, there are several considerations that need to be made. First off, are you looking at a barn where you'd be loading from the side or the end? I think it's one of the first uh, considerations that you should have. Next is location. It needs to be a relatively level area, but also it needs to be in a place where water is not going to be coming from uh, slopes in the general area that will run water either beside that could get into the barn or really right down through the middle of the barn. That drainage needs to be set up such that there will be no water entering the barn. How tall does the barn need to be? Are we looking at putting two bales high or three bales high? Uh, this uh, will have a major effect on, on the height of that facility. Uh, as we're looking at uh, building these uh, barns, we need to be sure that we are meeting all of the building codes in the area uh, because some, we don't want to get it built and then find out that we have not, not met the requirements. We do have some uh, plans available on the UT Extension website. If you go to the address that you see on the screen, uh, you'll see a number of plans there that, uh, that might work for you. Again, uh, you may want to uh, vary from this, and that's all right, too. Just get with somebody that, that can help you. Be sure that the construction is such that it can withstand all the pressures that, that will be occurring both from inside and outside the structure. Uh, one thing that's extremely important when we think about uh, building that barn are the poles that are used in the construction. We need to be sure that the posts are put down in the ground deep enough so that if we get a strong wind that they're not pulled out. Uh, every year we hear of a barn or two that the wind has gotten rather brisk and, and it's lifted those out. It may be that they actually need to put some cross rods at the bottom of uh, those posts and cover that up so that you give still some extra structure to holding that pole in place. Like I say, the last thing we want to happen is, is the wind get under the shed and, and pull it out uh, post and all. Uh, construction, as I say, needs to take into consideration that uh, we may have some relatively strong winds. Uh, it's not only the post, but it's also uh, the trusses and other materials that, uh, uh, that are helping hold that barn together because we've got pressure from the wind. Uh, sometimes we have some relatively heavy uh, snow, and then we may not think about it, but there is a certain weight that's simply associated with the structure of, of that shed or that barn. So we need to add all those up and then be sure that we have... Uh, done that construction in such a way that it can withstand all those pressures. The last thing we want to happen is uh, uh, go through the effort of building a barn and then it either collapse or get blown away. Uh, like I say, it, it's just very expensive to, to build that shed, although it is going to save a lot of hay over time, and uh, I think it would be a paying proposition, but we sure don't want to double that cost because we had to build it twice. Uh, do it right the first time so we don't have to come back the second time. If you'd like additional information regarding the construction of hay barns, contact your local extension agent. <music>